The angel then spoke to them and said, This state is the death of your joys, which you believed to be alone heavenly, although in truth they are but the accessories of heavenly joys. And they asked the angel, What then is heavenly joy? To which the angel replied in these few words, It is the delight of doing something that is useful to ourselves and to others. And the delight of use derives its essence from love and its existence from wisdom. The delight of use springing from love by wisdom is the life and soul of all heavenly joys. There are most joyous companionships in the heavens, which gladden the minds of angels, amuse their spirits, fill their bosoms with delight, and revive their bodies. But they enjoy these delights when they have performed the uses of their employments and occupations. From these are the soul and life in all their joys and pleasures. But if you take away this soul or life, the accessory joys successively become no joys, but become at first indifferent, then as if frivolous, and finally bring sadness and anxiety. When these words had been said, the door was opened, and those sitting near sprang out and fled to their homes, everyone to his employment and to his occupation, and revived. After this, the angel addressed those who had induced upon themselves the idea that the joys of heaven and eternal happiness consisted in feastings with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and after the feasts, sports and public shows, and then feasts again, and so on to eternity. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will bring you into the felicities of your joy.